What's up guys, it's Andrew at Night, and what I've got for you today is a run through of the latest Resurrection ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2, and this is for the i900 uh, international version, which you can sort of see here, it's got the button. But yeah, this is the international version, so don't go and flash this on one of the US variants, because I'm not quite sure what will happen. Um, I'll put a link to the ROM in the description. As far as flashing it goes, it's pretty simple. You just need to drop the file onto your internal SD card and then boot into Clockwork and flash it. It wipes everything automatically and it should work straight away um, from a first boot. This is the first ICS ROM that I've ran that I can actually use as an everyday ROM that doesn't constantly have crashes and bugs and things like that. Um, we'll just start by showing you that it is actually running uh, about the phone. And you can see Android version 4.0.3. Get rid of that little smudge. Um, and you can see it's the Resurrection version 8.1 ROM. Um, if you're watching this video in the future, obviously there's probably going to be uh, some incremental updates to this ROM or maybe even uh, completely different ROMs that are ICS. This is just the one at the moment. So if you're watching this in like six months' time, please don't comment on bugs in this ROM or anything like that because it just means. It takes a quite a lot of my time and I can't get to people who have um, questions that are quite current and quite serious. Um, so that's a little, just a little bit of housekeeping. That smudge is really annoying. There we go. So um, as you can see, market works fine, which is obviously pretty key. Uh, internet is really, really quick on this. 3G is outstanding. It's much, much quicker than any gingerbread ROMs I've ran. Oh, that's reassuring. Uh, so yeah, you do get the odd little thing like that. I've been running this for about a day and a half, and I've had probably five of those in two days, or a day and a half. So it's not too bad, it's not going to affect your everyday use. Uh, but obviously it's something to look out for, it's not quite as stable as some other gingerbread ROMs. You've obviously got the full home screen, and you've got folders, things like that. You've got the widgets in the app drawer, this is all pretty standard. Ice cream sandwich stuff. Uh, but yeah, it does all work. Um, Wi-Fi is fine, 3G as I said is really really quick, music player is working fine like the volume, everything comes out of the headphone jack correctly, so everything that you're going to need really is working. The battery life is pretty decent, I left it on overnight and I think it dropped about 9% in about 10 hours, so that's pretty decent. Um, obviously if you're using music or games or anything like that it's going to drain a lot quicker but um, battery life is pretty decent, you're not going to flash this and immediately lose all your percents if that's even how I should have raised that but yeah, um, I don't really know what else to show you just that everything does work for any of the ice cream sandwich specific things uh, you've also got the transitions which are really cool and you've got all the new apps, so for example on this you get the new YouTube which won't work because I've got uh, airplane mode on but you can see it's the new application and Gmail as well you've got the new application so it is all is all ice cream sandwich uh, no, didn't mean to do that, that's the Samsung voice thing which obviously is a Samsung specific thing if you pull down the bar here you've obviously got slide across to cancel things you've also got this which is your quick settings, which is really customizable and really handy. You've got everything from sort of a flashlight to your Wi-Fi hotspots, everything like that. So, uh, and I'm not quite sure if that's something stock in ICS or whether that's just specific for this ROM, because I haven't used a couple of other ROMs, but that was quite early on, and they sort of booted and they wouldn't really work. I'll just show you some face unlock, because that is working in this ROM, which is quite new for the Galaxy S2. They seem to have had problems with that sort of since day one. Uh, screen lock, we're going to turn face and lock on. This could be interesting with the camera there. Uh, right, how are we going to do this? There we go. As you can see, I'm wearing a tiger, tiger print all in one, because that's what I do. Oh, God. No, it's not working very well, is it? Um, bear with me, and we'll cut back after I've set it up. Right, so I've just set that up, and now we're going to try and get it to work on camera again. There we go, so you can see that worked. 
and I've been using this for a couple of days. I don't usually use this just because um, I think it's quicker just to put a uh, quicker to put a code in. But yeah, it is kind of cool that you can show off to your friends that you can do face unlock. I think it's really nice that this dev has actually got that working on the Galaxy S2 because um, I think it's one of sort of the key features um, which differentiates it from like iOS and Windows Phone 7 and things like that. It's just sort of one of those leaps forward which may or may not take off, but there we go. Um, as far as application compatibility goes, there's a couple that don't work according to the thread. Um, all the apps that I've downloaded so far have worked. I haven't tried many games yet, um, but the GPU drivers do seem to be working quite well. So I think you're going to be alright with the games as well. Um, and that's sort of really all I can say, guys. If you do want to try ICS now, then I suggest you download this. Again, I'll put a link in the description. And to download it, all you need to do is... Or sorry, to flash it, all you need to do is download it, put it on your internal SD card, go into Clockwork and just flash it. And then it'll take maybe four or five minutes on the first boot. And from then on, it'll be really good. And I'm addicted already to killing all my applications like this. It's very web OS that, anyway. Yeah, so uh, as you can tell, I'm rambling. Haven't filmed anything for ages and thought I should probably put something out. So uh, enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-da!